The only, the first time I ever heard of them was like after a police shooting and people were trying to get the show like canceled. What the hell? And I was like, that's hilarious. And then. And really dumb too. <laughs> Like a little police officer dog they're mad about or something? What the fuck? Shooting the black labs or something. <laughs> <laughs> we don't take you kindly to your type around here. Golden's only! <laughs> Golden retrievers, dog. I'm packing something into a bong. Go. All right, so we're gonna go fight this big gumpy dude here, and then we're gonna have to sprint through a uh, field where a giant is gonna be launching huge arrows. But when you get to the end of the field, the door we need to get into kind of like starts to have enemies pour out, and as they pour out, like they're gonna try to stop you from getting in. So when you get to the door, I'm gonna start swinging, I'm gonna need you to swing too, okay? Okay. Okay, it usually starts when you get right up to this gate here. So I'm gonna stand here. Can you see the door straight way? Yeah, can you see the door straight ahead? Uh, yeah, slightly lit. There's, there's shit kind of like in the way of it, arrows that are coming out of the ground, but you should be able to see its frame back there. Yeah. All right, I'll follow you that way. I don't trigger it and you're not ready. So you go on your mark, but when you get to that door, be ready for a fight. Just sprint the whole time if you can. All right, uh, here we go. I don't know what's going to Oh no, I hit the wall. <clears throat> Get in if you can. Alright, I gotta take an SS after that. Alright, I'm here. I think there's an item over here if you can like run and jump onto that ledge. I guess if I jump for some reason. I'm really good at jumping. You have Great. gotten good at that in this game. You can actually see the giant from here. He's like on that tower over there with all the birds flying around. You can see him drawing his arrows and Ow. shooting them. Oh, he's shooting us up here. Oh. I just fell off the map also. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Listen, go forward, and you'll find, like, a, a room with, like, paved brick, and it's okay. There's also a boss door there, but don't go through. I'll get there myself, and I'll have you summon me, okay? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know really he shoots you when you were on that ledge. That confused me. I had no idea. I was like, hey, look, there he is. And he was like, there you are. <laughs> I'm, like, right at the entrance. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sprint over there real quick. You can meet the giant and talk to him, and when you do, he's just like, mmm, you friend? And if you, like, say yes, he stops shooting arrows at you in this area, so I can just, like, walk there without the danger. Okay, I had to kill some of those guys because they were chasing me a little there, but that's okay. I just got to the castle shit. Lots of flowers here. Alright, my sign is down before the steps that go into the boss room. Where's my phone? There it is. nice in this one I like heard it when it appeared yeah That's there's cool. an audio cue that really helps so this boss is really cool <coughs> I'm 
Um, I'm not gonna tell you it's lore. Give me one second here. <coughs> I'm not gonna tell you it's lore until <coughs> uh, after the boss fight. But I will warn you. <coughs> the little shithead villagers we've been fighting with pitchforks and scythes and stuff like farmers. Mm -hmm. It's not at a high speed, but they continually drop into this arena and like come to fight us and help the boss. So the entire time you're engaging the boss, keep your eyes around and make sure you don't get snuck up on and someone starts hitting you in the back or something. Because it's not like it'll kill you, but it's the kind of thing that'll like flinch you and then you get hit by the boss or something. So just keep your eyes out, <coughs> watch for the villagers, and when the boss spawns, I'll tell you how it works. Dude, 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 I'm gonna fight a boss. I'm gonna stick a sword right up his cooter. Sup, bros? I really am going to jam my sword up his cooter. Yep. So this boss was an old spirit tree. Watch out. Don't let that yellow shit touch you. It was an old spirit tree that the citizens here used to seal all of their curses away into. If one of them experienced a curse, they would go to the tree and seal the curse into the tree. And eventually, after doing it for so long, the curse, like, the curse tree, like, took life and came alive and became this. Oh my god, I went to fucking punch a villager, and he swung his arm at both of us and knocked me out and killed him. Alright, that's one. We're gonna have to look around for other ones. There's some on his arms, his back. We'll have to find them. There's one on his leg, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, back. whoa. Okay, it didn't kill me. Cool. That was scary. The arm just came out of the center. I don't know if you can see that. It can grab you and fuck you up, but it can also be damaged. Like, it takes good damage, so if you get a chance to get that arm, good thing with that. Nice. 
probably just going to focus on his arm now because he's speeding it down, so it's going to be a lot of opportunities to attack him. It's going to be a lot of opportunities. Put your hand down. Down and up slowly. Use your bonfire. Wrecked. <clears throat> there you go. I left you some things. Embers. Wow. Just in case you start taking deaths, because this next part you have to do solo. So there's an unfortunate downside to that boss and the way it happens, which is that because of how the like Welcome pit home. falls and you fall into that zone down there, then touch mm -hmm. the take uh, you couldn't get back up. So when you go back, you need to fast travel to the dilapidated bridge and you need to go back through that like arrow field and try to get back up and be careful. I am currently outside of that boss's room where you summoned me because that's where you get sent back when this game when you when you. Disconnect from a co-op, you're back where you put your sign down, okay? Gotcha. So, like, I'm going to walk through the next part with you and guide you on what you got to do, but it's going to be solo because there's no co-op for this little segment. Um, so we'll do it, like, bit by bit together, just so you don't get fucked up too bad. <clears throat> In the boss room, do I need to pray at that altar? No, it's for a covenant. You can do it for a trophy, but you don't have to. Gotcha. I couldn't agree more. Good rating is good, IG. I'm glad you recognized it. They gave the Hot Wheels DLC for 4 is a 5 and 8 out of 10. I just finished it this morning. So good. so funny the enemy is just staring you down then a giant rock takes him out. <laughs> I'm always really said, listen here you motherfucker. Alright, I am back in that spot. Alright, so when you look out the door, and you, the door, you can't look out the door, excuse me. You have to open the door all across from the boss's room, okay? And when you open it, you can step outside and you'll see some stairs leading down. Okay. Alright, walking out and looking down the stairs, do you see any enemies? Uh, 
Not particularly, no. Alright, then uh, they must be like... Hanging out, not really approaching yet. I was sitting here long enough that they actually approached the door and started to come near me. Oh, I see them now. They're walking out. Yeah, you can kill them one at a time if you just let them approach. And then, uh... When you get to the bottom of the stairs... There's a dog on the left over by the trees, like, and he'll jump you if you're not careful. So, kill those two enemies, and then watch the dog, like, go towards the left and be prepared for him. Alright, everybody's dead. Alright. <sighs> Start moving forward. And eventually you should see a uh, set of two dogs coming across the bridge. Okay, yep. There's one. Kill those dogs. Alright. Got them. If I only had one dog and then I had to fight the fat lady. Oh, okay. It's changed for me. It was just two dogs. I am okay. good now. Alright. Don't go across the bridge. Instead, look to the right of it and you should see like the entrance to like a little dungeon cave type thing. Can you see that? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and go in there. Then when you drop down, you're going to see the cave is kind of foggy at the end, but there's three small rats and one big rat in the back in the fog. He's meant to be hidden. If you sit there, the rats will come to you at your, their own pace, so you can kill the smaller ones without too much danger, and that way the big one is alone. Oh shit, looks like there's two more small rats back there with the big one. You kill those rats, let me know. And they're all dead. Alright, there's a ladder on the right side that'll take you up a little bit. Go ahead and pick that ladder up. And then you should see a door you should be able to open. Yeah. Alright, oh, did you... Yeah, so that's the, that's the bridge bonfire there. And you're gonna need this shortcut because you might die here a couple times. So there's... You can start heading back. And then you can let me know when you, uh... You can let me know when you hit the, um the bridge where you're looking across and you can see the big guys with like wood planks on their back. I had to bite these dudes again, I just rested so I can get my ass back. Oh, no worries, I understand how that is. There's a way to beat this enemy legit, and then there's a way to cheese him and make him fall in a hole. Would you like to cheese him, or do you want to try him legit? Um, let me take a look at him first. You can take a try at him if you want. I gave you embers to replace what you die on. If he beats you, you can just cheese him the next time, or you can decide, I think I can get him. Uh. I'm just throwing pots. Did you already jump across the bridge? I, I, oh, okay. No, Luck. I didn't. I killed the dog that was on the bridge and then he threw something at me. Yeah, the two guys back there will throw pots at you. And then they'll charge you. And I was gonna tell you, you should just run past them. You're gonna wanna run past them and get into the tower behind them. A good bit. A 
wow, this big guy's following me all the way to the fucking elevator room. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What happened? Uh, big saw dude was chasing me, and uh, I dodged, and he ran off the edge. <laughs> nice. All right. Did you get to the tower? Yeah, I see like the dude sitting on the rocks, and then like I'm between him and the tower. Okay, yeah, go to the tower, and then take the elevator up. Open door. And then if you follow the path up, you'll meet the giant and you can befriend him so that he stops shooting arrows at you. That way you can go back to that area and get all those items if you want them. Siegward. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I... But I have to find a way. This lift only goes... Well... Hmm. Hmm. I... I am on the elevator. Alright. You took it up already, or no? It's taking me down. No, uh, take it back up. And then when you're, when you're, like, at the mid-level, initiate it and make it go down on its own. Oh, I see. I did this in Bloodborne. Take the other one up and then talk with the giant at the top and get him to shop, stop shooting arrows at that area for you. Hmm. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> the guy just like, hmm, out. as I was going up, I was like, wait, are you with me? What? Gentle voice, sir. All right, good to go. I go back down. Uh, yeah, and then you're going to take the path down. say the path down do you mean go down the elevator or go like back outside no you go down the elevator now you already okay. went up so you can talk to the dude now you can go down cool. and then down is where the enemy is that I fear that you might struggle with but we'll see how you do maybe you're really good at this game and I don't know it this is gonna be like your first test on your own I guess because this guy usually beats the shit out of most people that I play with in this game and they end up having to cheese him
found him. Holy moly, you're fast. Alright. Yeah, he's an outrider knight. He's dead. Hell yeah! Way to go! I put fire on my sword and I beat the crap out of him. Love to see it. Yeah, he's an icy boy. So that makes sense if you would beat him in that manner. Alright, <clears throat> after defeating him, you can open the door to the next area. And you're not going to have any enemy engagements until the next, like, bonfire or two. But feel free to just start walking down. And there's also an NPC down there, so... If you should feel like it, you can talk to those NPCs to start a quest line, but... I don't do the quest lines in this game ever, so I don't know anything about them beyond where they start, really. That was a gross dude. That was what? Gargoyles or something. Oh, no, I lied! There's enemies! Fuck! I'm so sorry. I got ahead of myself. Alright, these enemies... Did you already kill the first one? Yeah, I killed the first two. Alright, these enemies like do a berserk thing. You can fight them or you can like run past them. But it's up to you. Are you gonna fight them all? Yeah, it's really fast to kill them, so... Oh, yeah. Just get the souls. There's items there. here that I never claimed, so I'm just gonna kill these guys one at a time and get this shit. There was one guy I talked to in the last area. Um, he was a pilgrim, and he, I kind of read up on him, but I was kind of confused by it, but it was saying something about, like, um, you, uh, can level up with him, like, he gives you free level ups, but then, uh, every time you Yol. die... Yol the yeah. pilgrim. Yeah, yeah. He, it was like, saying gives something you... like, you have to do that for a specific kind of ending. I'm just wondering if it's worth it. I mean, if you don't care about the ending, then it doesn't matter. You just get free level ups. Eventually, he dies, so like you can't do it beyond a certain point. I was just reading that like if you do die after doing his stuff, though, it adds layers of hollowing. Does that like make it harder to ember or something? No, uh, it makes you look hollow, like undead, and it makes you ugly as fuck. And in order to fix it, you have to pay a bunch of souls to. The bitch at Firelink Shrine. Well, if it's just cosmetic, I ain't worried about that, then. I'm pretty sure that's all it is, yeah. I'll We're double check for you. The time anyway, though. Um... That's an NPC type enemy. Dingo, bingo, dink, cock, lick, shot. So, like, I passed these two broken wagons, and then there's, like, a fork in a road, one going left and one kind of right. Do I go the left way? You go left. There was, a, there was like, a shaman-type guy up on that corner, wasn't there? Yeah, I killed him. Yeah, yeah, he was like blocking the path. It's around the corner to the right. It's like really narrow though. You almost won't see it. Okay, so I do drop down here. I saw this drop and I was like, uh, doesn't look like I can get back. <laughs> Want to make Correct. sure it's the right way. When you, when you get down there, there's a right that goes under a bridge and a left. The left goes down towards an NPC enemy with a big-ass butcher blade. As you're saying that, I'm getting visceral by <laughs> <laughs> Her? Yeah. Oh, I don't... Ooh, I, I, I'm gonna run. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty strong for your level right now. Didn't she did that item that stops my Estus? Oh yeah, the Hunter's Talisman. 
Yeah, I dipped. So, hello, Scythe dude. When you uh, try to go on the main path, there's going to be a big doorway that you're supposed to go through. And there's a bunch of enemies waiting right at it to try and fuck you up. It's better to just run past them, but if you think you can handle them all, then go for it. Oh, I just killed them all already. Nice, I just finished that as well. Now you'll end up meeting uh, Henri and her bitch. Her, yeah. Look pretty chill. Blue Sentinels. Ah. Hello. How do you do? I am Anri of Astora, unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and traveling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Baron Keep, home of the undead legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the cathedral, home of the Grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now. Then okay, are you fast traveling to level up, or what are you doing? I was uh, yes, talking to. Without his help, I would have cursed yep. this home. Yep. We are well beyond the flood. We may go the next time we may the flames come. We are well beyond the flood. Okay, and now to travel the what? Hmm. You're an unkindled. I am serious. Of the sunless realms. I don't know you. Former servant of the Serious. Duties we each bear. I doubt we've much blessing of the moon. You seem cool. Where is other chick at? Welcome home, Masha. Speak that. Very well. Then touch the pig nourishment. Traveling back to the halfway fortress. Mm hmm. A sign is uh, on the ground just a little bit beyond it as you start heading downhill. I see it. This looks like the DLC area from Dark Souls 1. Mm -hmm. Let me solo her is retiring. He said he's not doing any more uh, runs and he wants um, other people to start doing what he did. He, he wants other people to take up the mantle and start helping others. Wait, all right, we'll kill these guys first, but then... It's a big stick you got here. Here, let me give you some of these. Okay. Take those, 
and then hotkey them. Fuck off. There it is. Yup, use one right now. Get off to the side of the path. That's good. Fucking invaders are the worst, man. This place is, has, an, has an auto invasion mechanic where they just fucking jump your ass and come in automatically. So this is a real player? Yeah. Give it a sec, and if he comes up this way, maybe we can jump him and surprise attack him, but... This place has a notorious... It has, like, a covenant where if you join the covenant, you automatically invade other players that, like, set foot on this place. So... It's almost unavoidable. I'm gonna start slipping around. They made me very tall. Yes, they did. Hmm. Don't see him yet. I saw him a second ago, but he ran off um, toward the opposite direction. Almost at the bonfire. Can you still see me or no? Ooh, no, but I see him. Where is he? He's like toward the center of the swamp area. Oh, so he's out in the water? Yeah, I saw him walk. He's just walking instead of like running. Now he's just standing there. I'm looking right at him. Hopefully he leaves. And now he's running toward the right. I see him. Dooby dooby doo. Is this guy's name? He's still behind that trunk. Am I? No, is he? I don't know. I'm I saw seeing... him back there, but I haven't seen him. Seeing... I see his health bar randomly floating around in the swamp, and I see it losing health for some reason. Oh, really? 
All right, Briss. I can see you. Can you see me? Yeah. All right, this is the, where the bonfire is, so if you can slowly sneak your way along and just stop if you see him, just stay hidden and shit, try to sneak your way along. I have lots of those white branches, so if you want to reuse it to try and maybe become a box or something smaller, you could. Really? There we go. I am a box now. If I follow all I, it, oh, no, I see. All, all I can suggest is trying to stay near shit so you're not just out in the open as a box. If you get engaged and he figures it out, out figures out that it's you, start sprinting towards me and lure him up to the bonfire. I'll jump him when he's not ready. Is that water poison you? No, but there's like giant crabs in it, so it's a little scary to get too far into the water. Still losing health on my screen for some reason. I don't yeah, think that's actually him, but it is weird. It is what it is. I hope that's not him because he's getting closer. I'm waiting to see a box like slowly hovering over here, and I just don't see you yet. I'm like a little cross thing. Same. I'm sitting in the sunlight up by the fucking bonfire right now, just waiting for you to arrive. There's, there's invasion rules here where if you get invaded, you're not supposed to get invaded like repeatedly back to back or anything, so it's better to just hope that this guy fucks off so we can move on. If you hit this bonfire too, we're actually pretty close to where the boss is that we're gonna go fight, so like we could even start sneaking into that direction and go that way if we have to. I also have something you can use if you want. That's pretty great. I'll consider what direction dropping it. is it? Uh, so like, I'm at oh. that torn building now. You went too far. You were supposed to go up between the the gate, like the the gate wall thing, and then turn right. You went a little too far. You're not supposed to go in the broken building yet. I'm actually behind you, basically, because of that. I imagine you, you, yeah, you came, you came through like a archway to get towards this area, right? I don't remember an archway. How did I might you? Have, how are you? I just stayed on the f wall and hovered on around. the left. Yeah. I'm looking to see you. I don't understand how you got past me. I don't understand what route you could have taken, especially if you dropped down. You might just want to wait it out. I don't know where you are, and there's a chance you wander into something you don't want to. Because I don't know how you got there without going even near me at all, but... You're supposed to, like, hook a U-turn right as you come up a hill after walking through an archway, and there's a bonfire on this hill. I'll see if I can't slip towards the edge of the hill. So if you wander around, you can see me. I'm getting annoyed. Where is Briss? Here's the broken building. Definitely the one you talked about. Where are you? I saw- I see you. How the oh. fuck are you all the way over there? I was over where you are and I came all the way back.
Yeah, this is the direction I took originally. Boss is in the building over here, we'll go this way. I suspect he may have he may have slipped. He's there right he here. Back up out of the building. We don't need to engage him with the enemies. I got a trap for him. He's not gonna like it. Get out of the building, see if he comes out. I doubt he will. Alright, Briss. There, there he is. is. He's like lagging a little bit. He is, because I just backstabbed him and then it didn't hit. You think? You're gonna fucking knock me around. You're sorely mistaken, you dumb shit. Yeah, you fucking run. That's goddamn- Don't, 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 don't. Let him go, let him go. Alright, I got something for you. Come here. Pick this up and use it. Do you see that item I just dropped? Um. No? No. We'll go this way. Come on. I hear him coming. Obviously still do not engage. Back out of the door. There's no reason to fight him here. Look how little damage you did, you dumb shit. Watch out, Briss. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Take a hike. What a pussy. You can fight us or don't. Exactly. He's like desperate for the help of AI because he can't beat us on his own. That's why I'm trying to clear the AI out of this area so we can fucking advance. There's the boss room's right around this corner. I went back inside. I don't know if you know. This wizard's the problem. He's, He's in coming here. for you. I'm sure he is. gonna kill you. Disengage, Briss. Try it. I'm... How about I end you, you fucking trash? Don't. More enemies that way. There's an enemy on the right side here. You're bad! Teabag. Watch out. Jerking off on your corpse, Trash. You're not good. He rolled off the edge thinking it would save him, and I did too, and then just rolled off into a drop attack and floored him. When I made contact, his literal body laid on the floor from the hit. How many S does she got? Three. Uh, do you want to rest and get him back? Sure, it's right here, so... Yeah, I'll DC. 
But when I reconnect and we get back together, we're gonna like kind of hustle. Yeah. You're coming to this bonfire, or, or am I going to the other That one? bonfire. Okay. My sign's down at that bonfire. It's on a tree branch. Hopefully you don't get invaded. Start moving before you get invaded again. Going for the wizard right away. Wizard's down. Behind you. Who the fuck just- oh, that boy back there shot that. Careful, there's holes in the floor here you can fall into, be careful. Yeah. Uh, this is the Crystal Sage. Off the top of my head, I actually don't know its lore, but in terms of mechanic and how it works, uh, one of these things is not like the others, and that's the one that you're after. I think that's enough without spoiling the fight. Not work today, you off? I worked last night. 
Oh, oh, okay. I got home, ate, showered, and then messaged you. Okay, so it's the end of your day, technically. Yeah. Are you okay but with continuing, or are you ready to be done? I can keep going. Hell yeah, brother, hell yeah. We don't have to if you don't feel it, but I'd love to. I like this one a lot more than one and two. I like the speed on this one. Welcome home. Very well. Then I knew you would. Be careful. There is a ring I need you to get in this game. I'm going to have to ask 